Davey joins us right now to share some memories. Davey, thank you for the time. Sorry for the loss of your friend. And what was the first thought that came to mind when you learned about the news? Man, I just thought, yo, what a tragedy, that family. Because uh, I knew his brother Joe, and he passed away, I think, in 2006. And I used to do a lot of stuff in the offseason. Went to Phil's brother, went to uh, Florida Southern, and we did stuff down there in Lakeland and uh, for the ball team. Uh, so I think it's Florida Southern. But uh, and then having, I, I thought Phil would live forever. Such a great friend and such a great, he was the best glove on the infield when I was there. <laughs> he could really pick it. He also had quite the repertoire, unique, unlike anyone else, and then a mentor for future knuckleballers as well. So, hey, I know you were a teammate of Phil's, so you got to watch it from that perspective, but you were also able to face him. I've got the line, two for nine, a hit by pitch, two strikeouts. What was it like to face Nuxy? Well, I'd faced Hoyt Wilhelm before him, and so I knew how hard knuckleballs were to hit. Uh, you know, it, you always like, from a right-handed knuckleball, it kind of, the last break was kind of like a curveball. And you just kind of had to guess. <laughs> and with Phil, you know, I mean, it, it didn't always break that way. Uh, and then, you know, when he'd get behind and maybe he'd throw, you think he'd throw you a fastball? No, it was usually a little cut slider or something like that. But he was a dandy. He was uh he was tough to hit off of, and he was, but he was a great teammate, and great to play behind. Yeah, tell me more about what Phil was like as a person, your relationship with him, and also the way that he passed on his unique knowledge, of course, to future knuckleballers, but also just to future <laughs> players and what it was like to be in the bigs. Well, he was a ga what I call a gamer. You know, he just loved the game. We all loved the game, but he was, you know, uh, you look at him as a knuckleball and you think he's not a gifted athlete. He was a great athlete. Uh, and he just had a great personality. He, he was, um, you know, didn't have any ego at all. Just nice to be around, nice to talk to. Uh, his fa whole family, Nancy, was great. Everybody uh, related to him were uh, just awful warm people. Uh, it's just a tragedy to lose him. Davey, this is a show where we do love to delve into numbers and you go back and I know you're still a big fan of the game and you're watching games all the time. So you go back to yep. 1977 through 79, Phil Necro's averaging 335 innings per season. The longevity, the durability, how would you describe the way that he was constantly able to go to the mound, retired at age 48, really didn't get his career going until after age 28? Well, I think he could throw about 400 knuckleballs and not even be tired. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and, uh, you know, I, it, it wasn't velocity or anything like that. It was just technique. And, it, you know, you don't realize how difficult it is for a knuckleball or anybody to throw strikes. Uh, but he did. I mean, and the things that he did uh, back then, I mean, they're unheard of today. I mean, nobody even goes past about the sixth inning. And uh, he, he, at an older age, I mean, he completed it most games he started, it seemed like. Uh, and, you you know, you kind of felt like you were doing the team, opposite team at an advantage if you took him out and put somebody else in. Would you like to see future knuckleballers in the game? I know it's, I don't know if you want to call it a dying breed. We still see the pitch pop up from time to time, but <laughs> it's definitely not easy as we've learned. <laughs> no, and I, I knew he, he uh, it seemed natural for him. I mean, I couldn't throw one. I, you know, I saw his grip and he worked with me and shoot. Uh, you know, his hands weren't that big. You know, you think usually a knuckleballer has real huge hands. Uh, but they weren't, and uh, he was just kind of slender, and he kind of slung it up there, and uh, it was tough to hit. Uh, he was fun to play behind. You know, it was, it was laughable sometimes, you know, those hacks guys took. So it was really fun. If we had, unfortunately, we didn't have a whole lot of good starting pitchers on that club when I was there. We had a pretty good offense, Dusty Baker, Ralph Gar, myself, and 
uh, we could score a few runs, but we uh, we had a hard time holding holding the opposition down, other than when Phil pitched.